Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. We still have uh, Mr. De Tokubo Pierce. He's a member of the PDP with us in the studios, and we're looking at uh, uh, quite a number of uh, issues that have been springing up in the policy lately. Let's talk about the, um, the president's appointments up to this time, uh, because there has been views on whether it is skewed to the north or it is against the south. And uh, what do you make of it, though? It is most obvious that the president has uh, <clears throat> been very ethnocentric, but then is not doing anything that is contrary to what he said he would do. He said with his own mouth that his main concern is for people who voted 97% for him, and he has made that obvious in his appointments. The very first 28 appointments he made, within a month or two after he got into office, 21 of them were from the north. Seven from northwest, seven from northeast, seven from north central, and only four from south south, and only three from southwest, and zero from southeast. That set the tone for his appointment structure. But up to this time, it's 157 appointments, and uh, the North, as being speculated in many uh, platforms, is not actually having much more than the South. Key appointments, key appointments. That was the first one, and that set the tone. And from then on, IPOB, men, all sorts of groups are sprouting up, I believe that uh, for any action, there will be a reaction. Uh, the service chiefs, security chiefs, out of 14, that he appointed, 11 of them from the north. Uh, these are the key issues. We are looking at key areas of governance. And, um, and uh, it is it's, it's a shame that the president has given the impression that he's really a president of the north, He's not a president of Nigeria. Oh, no, uh, because he, when the, he came out the, categorically on the day he was, yes. uh, he was being sworn in, he said he's for everybody. Oh, yeah, for I nobody. remember that very well. So you cannot say that he is, I remember he's, that he's very a president well, for the, the North, but, the week, but he's a, a president week, for Nigeria. A week or two after that. Is he a president for Nigeria? Is he your president? No, no, he's not. How can he not be? Are you not well, a Nigerian? I am a Nigerian. Then he must be your Technically president. Technically, he's, he's the president of this country, but he's not my president. I'll tell you why. The people, of this country, the people of this country yes. voted Muhammad Buhari as the president yeah, they of made Nigeria. A mistake. They made and a mistake, and they know now. And you will see that right now, if there was a poll taken, the president would get 10%. He has no support anywhere. No, because that's Not your view. Even, that's your view as PDP. That's my view. Of as the opposition, you always say that's that. That's my because view. Because they also said it when you were in power. So I, I can understand where you're coming from. But that's looking my, at the figures themselves, looking my, at the figures, what would you say? How would you interpret how much of an employment, the, presidential, uh, the president's employment uh, appointments, uh, have gone the way of the southern part of the country? Look, Surely it is much more than the north. The only time that you have appointments, key appointments in the South, is when by statutory, statutory uh, requirements, he had to make the appointments, like the ministers. People point to the ministers, they say, oh, Fashola from Lagos State has three ministries, big ministries. That is not an issue because- You want more? It, oh, that itself is an anomaly. It shows the lack of at understanding of administration, it shows um, a lack of value system on the part of the, the president. Go to any locality in, in Lagos, in Nigeria, and ask, how can one man have so three key ministries? That is a recipe for failure. And who suffers this? The Nigerian people. Are you saying that that this ministry is, is a what, failure? Pardon? Are you saying that ministry is a failure? Three ministries by one man. Is that a failure Virtually for you? Virtually impossible to operate effectively. Even though with the results that they're getting, better roads have been built, they're having electricity, even has increased to about 7,100 um, uh, megawatts of electricity, 7,001 
megawatts of electricity. You didn't have that in the PDP. So oh, why would you? Uh, there were times why would you claim that? in the Jonathan administration when we had that and more. Look. South Africa has 70 million people, 50,000 megawatts. Malaysia, 30 million people, 30,000 megawatts. Our objective should not be that, look, uh, we are trying, and uh, we have a D, and we have an E, and we have not failed yet. That's where we are now in this administration. It's not good enough, not good enough. But the president's appointments have been skewed to the north. No doubt about that. What he said in his presidential uh, inauguration speech was contradicted by himself when he made a comment about 97% that voted for him. But let us leave words apart and look at action. Look at the key appointments in every sector. Whenever they are recruiting police, 70% from the north. Whenever they are going to the central bank, security, Everywhere, everything is going to the north. That's why we are arguing now. Do you have the proof? We have to restructure. Oh, from these figures, figures that we are quoting now. I just, just gave you figures. some figures. Where, where, where was the source of your figures? Do any research. He, the, the reason why nobody What's ever the source? challenges. What's the source of your, your newspapers? Report? Newspaper reports. We get it all from the newspaper. When I tell people that the president is against. Uh, against the restructuring, they say, wait, I get a report. Front page punch newspaper. Okay, let's take some Front questions. Page. Let's take some questions from Malpa in Abuja. Okay, I understand that um, uh, uh, we cannot get to Abuja at this moment, but I uh, want to thank you so much indeed, uh, Mr. Adetokumbo, Dr. Adetokumbo Pierce, for talking to us, a member of the PDP, on very, very disturbing and uh, 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 issues that are rising up in the country today. Many thanks indeed for coming. Thanks for having me. Let's get now to Abuja for more on this. Malware.